Indian DGCA is in process of making all services and application procedure of various field in aviation online through its website dgcagovernment.in. All AME related services will also be online like initial issuance of AME license, amendment in AME license, renewal of AME license, endorsement of any type rating, extension of your category or removal of limitations. If you are aircraft maintenance engineer or technician or you are student in AME field then it is mandatory for you to register yourself and make account on DGCA website EGCA Electronic Governance of Civil Aviation Portal to avail such services. In this video you will see how to register yourself step by step. This video is made in collaboration of Aviation A to Z with Chalks on to Chalks off. Check out the link in description for my channel where I am putting aircraft maintenance video on live aircraft. And don't forget to subscribe both the channel for more awesome videos. Let's get our video started. Before you register, you need to keep following documents ready in soft copy. Identity proof, date of birth proof, 12th mark sheet or equivalent certificate, photo and signature. First three should be in JPG or PDF format and photo and signature should be in JPG format only. Here is the requirement and guidelines for each document. So we'll go to DGCA website, DGCA India Government.in. Okay. So this is the website, DGCA Government.in. You can click it in Hindi as well as in English. So all you have to do is you have to go in this login. We'll click on this down arrow and then you have to select EGCA login, not employee login. Okay. So we'll get the option like this. Here they're asking the ID password. If you already have, you can log in from here. But if you don't have, then you have to sign up. Okay. So we'll click on sign up. Now it is asking user type. So we have to select we are on from which background. So we'll select aircraft maintenance engineer. We'll click on this and then we have to submit. But before that, let me show you the how to get the user manual. So here there is a user manual option. We can click over here or you can click over here for getting the manual uh, stating all the steps and requirement which has to be filled for this registration. So we'll go on uh, page number two and here you can find aircraft maintenance engine registration and data validation process. So we'll click on this view button. So we'll get another tab and this is the PDF format. You can download it. You can save it. So you can just go through each uh, later on. Let's get back to the registration. So we'll click on sign up. We'll select aircraft maintenance engineer and then we will submit. Now the registration takes three steps. New existing user, personal detail and you have to verify your email ID and uh, mobile number. So uh, if you are a student, you don't have aircraft medicine license, uh, the old license. If you uh, if who are engineer re registrating for the first time on this website, they'll click on yes and then it, they will ask uh, other details. But if you are a student, you have to click on no and then you have to proceed to step two. Now here we are on step 2, it is asking all personal details. So we will fill first name, middle name, last name, gender, whatever is having this asterisk is mandatory, you have to fill it. Father name, mother name, legal guardian, one is compulsory, mandatory. Date of birth, you can just click it. Now it, rather than going one by one, you can just type it. Okay. And then you can just click any whatever you want and then country correspondence address so it is better to write permanent address over here because once the address is uh, feed in the system it is very difficult to change it so we'll make a permanent address over here whatever your address is you will fill it over here and then you will mark this same as correspondence address okay so we'll click here and then we'll go on proce uh, proceed to step number three so before i show you let me fill it all there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so I filled all the info just a dummy data and then we'll proceed to step number three 
so here we are on step 3 email and mobile uh, number validation so here they are asking id proof detail so we'll select there are uh, number of documents which you can submit as a uh, id proof so let me just select aadhar card so here they are giving you the maximum uh, size of the file which you are uploading should be 2000 mb okay and it can be jpg or pdf format so we'll just choose the file and then they will uh, we can just upload any file which we need uh, the I, uh, the id proof which you are uploading you have to write the number over here id proof number and confirm id proof number over here now photo and signature detail okay so here you will uh, upload your photo and here you will upload your signature the so here they are giving you all the requirements uh, how they expect your file to be okay and uh, they are also giving do's and don'ts of uh, the photo which you are capturing and here the signature so our uh, signature upload guidelines they are talking about this over here okay and then proof of date of birth so you can uh, same you can uh, whatever you have id proof you have uh, uploaded over here same file you can upload over here also and uh, you have to maintain this requirement and then upload 12th mark sheet or equivalent so you will upload your 12th mark sheet or diploma or degree whatever you are having the last qualification you will upload a file over here it should be in jpg or pdf format you will type the password over here confirm password and these are the requirements for the password then you will uh, put email id alternate email id you will enter your indian mobile number over here and alternate mobile over here okay then this code you have to type it over here and then they are asking receive otp so we'll click on this they will be sending otp on the mobile number which you have registered over here as well as on the email id so there is two otp which will be sent to you for the validation of this email as well as the number so make sure that uh, the other side you have opened your email id as well as the mobile number is in proper network so once you get the otp you have to enter it over here the mobile otp and email otp you will click on this all the declaration and then the date of declaration and you will click submit application once you have successfully submitted all the detail you will get screen like this they have already logged in in your profile so here you can see your name here you will get your unique egca login id by which you will use for logging in in this portal so just remember this uh, id and write it somewhere save it in your computer whatever this is your view profile so when, once you click you will get all your personal detail over here and then uh, license detail if you have, have any license and all your uh, authorization everything will be coming over here view your role what is your background they will show it over here aircraft maintenance engineer okay now for availing the service you have to go in this services so here they are giving all the options of all the services which you can avail in this portal starting from your initial application for the AME license renewal of your AME license any amendment to be done issuance of the authorization removal of any limitations from your license then also endorsement of uh, type rating or extension of the category so all the services will be available uh, maybe now it is inactive but maybe in future uh, it, they will be using this online service uh, one more thing uh, if you have computer number then you have to update computer number from here okay so you click on this i have already updated so uh, I, the data is already there but for you you have to update you have to write your computer number and all the detail and then you have to submit so they will confirm and the, the computer number will be saved in your portfolio and if you are having any type of query or any problem you are encountered while using this uh, website you have to raise this support request okay so once you raise it they will ask you all the detail you can choose the file screenshot or anything whatever uh, problem you are facing and then you will click on submit once you submit it you will get a tracking id uh, the the request number so dgsa will reply back you your query and if you want to check the status you have to click on this view support request status so they will ask you the number and then uh, the otp and you will search it uh, you will get whatever reply they have given you you will see over here if you have any doubt you can comment below thank you for watching